Hello everyone, Mayor Tom Price here, along with City Manager Dr. Brenda Fetro with your City Update. Joining us today is a special guest, Councilman Michael Cador. Councilman Cador will give you updates on this week's council meeting a little later. I have received a lot of calls over the past few months about the apartments going up on Barton Boulevard. So I want to address this and make this very clear. The name of the complex is Rockledge Flats. These are Class A apartments starting at $1,400 a month for a one bedroom. They will be offering one, two, and three bedroom options. The complex will have upscale amenities such as a gym and pool area. It is dog friendly with a dog run. This will make a nice addition to Barton Boulevard as the more residents we can bring to Barton, the more businesses we can attract to Barton Boulevard. And that's the important part of this. We are in continual talks with business owners who are interested in coming to Barton Boulevard and US-1. Remember that, and US-1, because that's coming up later. As things progress, we will be able to share more information with you. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity released the employment rates for each county in the state of Florida. Bavard County is at 6.2% unemployment. To give you an idea of where we stand in the state, Osceola County is at 15.1% and Orange County is at 11.6% unemployment. So our unemployment rate is coming down and more jobs are being added, which means this is good for our economy in Rockledge. Over the past few months, we have had each member of the council come as a guest and introduce themselves to you. Councilman Cador is the last council guest, so now we are going to do a little something different. We are inviting any business owner with a business license in the city of Rockledge to introduce your business to the citizens of Rockledge. You will be given a spot on the city's Facebook page. All you have to do is email the city clerk. The city clerk will acknowledge she received your email. Please do not email her more than once. She will schedule the date in accordance to the order in which your email is received. If you are a resident and want to hear from a business, please let that business owner know to contact the city clerk. We will not be reaching out to business owners. This is something the business owners will need to do on their own. We are excited about this and look forward to getting to know everyone and what everyone has to offer. Remember, this does not only apply to restaurants. It is any type of business with a business license in the city of Rockledge. Lastly, I am very happy to report that our videos are gaining more and more traction. Please continue to share on your social media. The more people we can keep informed, the better. Thank you very much. At this time, I'll turn it over to Dr. Brenda Fetro. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon, everyone. Our census 2020, we still need your help. While our response rate is very good at 76.9%, we still can do more. We're in the final few weeks, so please, if you have not already done so, please respond to the census. Counting every person in the city of Rockledge matters. As the holidays are fast approaching and gatherings of people are gonna become more prevalent, please do not let your guard down with regard to the COVID. The CDC has a list of what they consider moderate to high risk activities. It is on our website if you wish to view it and read what the CDC considers those moderate to high risk activities. So again, continue to wear your face coverings, socially distance, wash your hands, uh, enjoy your family gatherings, but please continue to be safe throughout the holiday season. Also, for any of you who might be contemplating taking the COVID vaccine whenever it may become available, the CDC is saying there must be 30 days in between your flu shot and when one takes the COVID vaccine. 
So for those of you who are considering it, taking the vaccine, you might consider getting your flu shot sooner rather than later. And lastly, just a point of information, as you go to vote on November 3rd, please review the Brevard Public School website to read more about the sales surtax renewal so you can be educated when you go to vote yes or no for that sales tax renewal. Uh, in closing, please wear your face coverings, wash your hands, socially distance, and please stay safe. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Councilman Cador. Thank you, Mayor Tom Price and City Manager Dr. Brenda Fetro uh, for this opportunity. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Cador Sr. and I'm a proud to serve as your Rockford City Councilman seat number one. I've been here less than a year, but it's truly been fun and very, very exciting. I'm learning a lot. Serving as your city councilman, I've also volunteered in many capacities, our uh, Citizens Recreation Advisory Board, as well as the president of our youth leagues here in the area, football, cheerleading, and soccer, and also proudly serve as one of our Rockledge police officers here in our wonderful city. I've been a resident here for 28 years. Uh, I've been married for 29 years, and we have three wonderful children, all of which who have graduated from Rockledge High School. I love the city of Rockledge and being able to serve our citizens. This past Wednesday at our city council meeting, we had 11 ordinances that we reviewed and went over. A few of those highlights where we were able to approve the 2021 fiscal year administrative budget with all of our departments being fully funded. We also adopted the millage rate and we're very, very proud of the reduction of that from 6.10 down to 6.05. We're very excited about some of the new businesses that we have here in our city and those that will be coming. Just to name a few, our Pancake House, our Double D's, and soon our Beach Fly Brewery. If you get an opportunity, please not only solicit those businesses, but all of our businesses here in the city of Rockledge. As I prepare to close, I would like to just not only uh, give a shout out to all of our citizens, but to our parents and our children, and even our educators during this time in this pandemic. Let's continue to work together and we will get through this together. I'd like to say congratulations and happy retirement to Terry Kalaga. She was our Brevard Public Schools Assistant Principal of the Year. Thank you so much for all that you have done for our citizens and our community, and more important, educating our children. We appreciate all that you have done. Lastly, please check our website for volunteering opportunities within the city. Remain safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, and be encouraged to not only social distance, but being able to look out for each other. Let's continue to make Rockledge a great place to stay and a great place to live. Thank you for allowing me to serve as your city councilman. It is truly an honor. Thank you.